Hi everybody, it's TR back with my next project. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. So I know the light's not great, but I can probably improve most of it. But, and I've kind of cleaned out all the consumables that were left behind, you know, things like salt and pepper and spices and all that stuff. God knows how old that stuff was. But, we'll start here with the bathroom. It's your typical wet bath. Okay. So, you shower with the toilet. It looks like I got myself a toilet lifter ring. <laughs> There's a little medicine chest here. I wonder what's in there. I never even looked. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Needs a good cleaning, but seems to be in pretty decent shape. The roof is kind of weird. I wonder if it leaked. And we got this crack here. There's no fan, it's a manual vent, which is fine. Let's leave that open. You got your Tetford turlet. There's the flusher. Doesn't smell, that's a plus. Maybe he took good care of his tanks. Oh, but there is no light in there. Interesting, so there's no light in the bathroom. We're gonna have to fix that. Do something with the roof I'm making myself a list here too probably want to maybe think about a new fan vent fan for there and closet storage and they've got these little switches which are pretty handy Light out pantry, so that's handy, but obviously we need to put on the list to do something with those runners. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Little teeny microwave, but it does look like bonus. The hole is probably does look like the hole's big enough. And then I could maybe get a little bigger microwave in there. Maybe even a microwave convection oven. Hello, Mr. Kitty Cat. Whoops. <laughs> anyway, it's got a range head and a four burner stove. Who the hell needs a four burner range in a truck camper? So, uh, maybe doing something with that. Something different. A two basin sink, which is nice. I got all my pots and pans. <laughs> Looks like we obviously have a problem there. So put that on the list. Can you guys see that? It's taped. And here's the back of the electrical panel. The electrical's right here. It has this really cool little deal here. Out. and then here's the electrical so it has the 110 volt and then the 12 volt stuff furnace looks not bad I don't see any I mean there's a few specks of rust in there but I don't see anything that's got me too concerned I didn't open this. I've got a little bit of storage in there. The fresh water tank sits right in there. So, there's the pump. Uh oh, let's rewind that and take a look at that. I think I see something there, and I do. When I was editing the video, I noticed that this supply line from the 
uh, freshwater tank to the pump is kinked. You can see it right there. And so I'm adding that to my list of things to fix. And our freshwater tank. I'm not sure on the capacities yet. I'll be looking that up. I'll put it in here. But all the silverware I could possibly need, several knives. Some, uh, oh, I got myself a coffee pot. Oh, and a Coleman stove, or a Coleman lantern. I think that's what that is. Oh yeah, a Coleman lantern. Got your toaster. I got more kitchen bags than you could possibly ever want in, <laughs> in a truck camper. This little hatch here goes into the bed. So that's actually inside the bed of the truck. I know it's darker than dark in there, but you get the idea. Let's see, there's one on this side too. Okay, nice hanging closet. So we've got this nice uh, Dometic here, dual fuel, dual fuel of course. And it looks to be, you know, in really good shape. It doesn't look like it's been used a lot. There's a little bit of rust and some crud on the shelves here, but we'll get that cleaned up. I have not tried it yet. Um, I haven't uh, tried the, any of the systems yet. I'm assuming it's winterized because I can see pink in the sink there. I'm guessing it's winterized. I'll be checking, of course, but it looks like it's been winterized. It, it came with this massive two-person sleeping bag. I'm going to see if I can get it cleaned. It's actually not bad. Some pillows. There's at least two gliders. I think these are glider chairs. Maybe three. There's at least three chairs. That's a huge one. Right there. That thing is huge. Oh, and there's another one. Good Lord. And there's two camp chairs right there. I lost my hat. I'm going to lose my hat. Got reflectix in those front windows. We should probably climb up in there and look. Oh, it's Velcro. This is nice. Oh, yeah, well, got a little cracking right there. A little bit of uh, wheat in that. They need to be cleaned. So those bubble windows are, I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them out and then polish them, clear coat them, and put them back in and uh, restore them because uh, I think they're I think they're great um, some people think they're kind of ugly I think they're pretty cool as far as <laughs> sure my hair's crazy as far as these valances go you know well I got a little bit of water maybe right here just a minute no I was thinking maybe I bet you oh I bet you I know what that is you can see there's some water damage right here, right? But I bet you somebody left a window open because I don't see anything. Oops. I don't see anything up there. It looks like anything's been leaking. A little crispy right here. And the whole top's kind of crispy. I think that's probably just from age. But, yeah, not to, I don't know if those are, those must be dresses. Yeah, it'll all go, all this stuff that I'm not going to keep will go to the Goodwill for sure. But, wow, I got plenty of chairs, that's for sure. <laughs> you could have a party. Okay, let me get down off of here. Over there, look at that. Dishes and pans and bowls and here's the monitors for the holding tanks. And it looks like you know they're showing good. The pump did run. We won't run it. And it's showing good on that battery, but I have my suspicions. Uh it's sketchy and cruddy looking as it is, and who knows how old it is. 
But remember, uh, there was a patch on the roof for this AC. And it looks like they just left the shroud in place. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to replace that or what. But we're going to have to look into that. Well, what have I forgot? Oh, I know what I forgot. I'll show you this because this is actually pretty cool. But what's really cool is this here. You can use the storage as they have done with those rat wire racks, which is pretty cool. Or I believe this lays down. Where's the latch? Is the latch on the inside? Yeah. So because because this thing here is here and obviously the people who had this before never used this like this but without this here there are latches right inside here and this whole thing lays down and turns into a bunk so i think you could easily sleep four and if you're friendly maybe more uh, so a little bit about sns this is a 94 95 model uh nine and a half foot sc i believe it is we'll look here in a minute but SNS is manufactured in Kalispell, Montana, and they have deep roots and ties to Alaska. And so these rigs are built for cold weather. They're built to withstand the Pacific Northwest, the rain, the snow, the nasty weather, bad conditions, and all that sort of stuff. And so I'm really excited to have gotten this for the deal I got it for. However, I have not checked the systems. I haven't checked the furnace, the fridge. Uh, the plumbing, I'm probably not going to check until spring because, it, so it is November here and it will be freezing soon, so I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to double check and make sure it is winterized, then we'll go from there. Uh, but from the water leak I could see over by the water heater, I, I know there's some issues in there. We'll get dug into that here before too long as a part of this renovation that we're going to be doing. Uh, probably going to look at replacing this oven. I lived in an RV full-time for four years, and I think I used my oven 12, 15 times in that four years, maybe a little more. But I think it's space better used for something else. I don't know what yet, but we're going to look into it. So I'm probably going to go with just a two-burner stove. I think that would be just fine for this. The sink, everything looks great. I might replace the uh, faucet. I hope I don't have to replace the fridge, but if I do, I do. Um, but gosh, it just looks to be in fine shape. I didn't crack that open outside to see what kind of what it looks like outside. So there you have it. There's my 1994, 95 model, SNS nine and a half foot truck camper. I am so excited about this. I have been thinking about this for almost two years. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I full-timed in my RV for four years. My uh, Newmar Dutch Star, almost five actually. Uh, well, actually, it might have been five to the day. <laughs> Damn close. Either way, I've spent a lot of time living in RVs. And the reason I wanted to downsize is because you can't take a 40-foot Class A. Or I can take this. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I think from here, uh, the videos will be a little bit sporadic until I get going on it. It is coming up on winter. And so, you know, it's hard to work uh, when it's cold. Uh, there's not a lot that needs to be done inside here. Obviously, a good thorough cleaning. Maybe replace the stove. Maybe replace the microwave. Uh, probably replace the vent. Uh, get a good positive vent in the bathroom. That egress window, that's good sized. And I don't know, you wouldn't want to put a vent in it or a fan in it anyway. So I'm going to put a fan in the bathroom. And... Uh, that way I'll have positive air movement through here. I can open that vent there, turn on the fan in the bathroom, and it should work out pretty good. So as far as systems go, I can tell you right now we'll be working on solar. We'll be working on water heater, replacing that with a tankless. We'll be sealing up this roof and all of the seams and everything, getting this thing squared up and back into shape that way. We might replace the linoleum, um, vinyl flooring, whatever you want to call it, the problem with replacing this flooring is, is they put the flooring down and then they lay the cabinets and all of the fixtures on top of it. And so it can be done and it, it, it might not be too bad, but uh, I'm kind of, as you can hear me kind of uh, uh, stuttering a little bit. I'm on the fence about that one, but I need some help. I need to come up with a name. 
Uh, I've always named my vehicles. Uh, my RV was rusty uh, because when I first got him, everything was rusty. Uh, my Subaru is dusty because I spent a lot of time on old dirt roads. And so I need to come up with a name for this camper. Put your suggestion in the comments below. So I think we better wrap this up because the old timer on the camera says I've been recording 40 minutes. And so I'm going to have to chop this down considerably. But I thought you'd enjoy seeing what it looks like uh, before and what the after is in probably, oh, I don't know, maybe three or four or five months. We'll just have to see uh, if the weather cooperates and I can get out and do some of the outside stuff I need to do. So if you found value in this video, give me that thumbs up. I always appreciate those. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and ring the notification bell because you don't want to miss an episode. This should be interesting. You can support the channel by visiting my Amazon. Go to my website at trboland.com. Lots of great RVing info over there. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Until we get together for the next, whatever we're going to call this rehab, peace.